Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this session, I'm going to tell you about the free certification course which is provided by the Oracle. SQL is a database management language which is used to fetch and update the data in a database. I have already created a few videos for the free certification of a SQL. You can go and check the playlist. In this course, you will learn the basics of a SQL. So let's get started on how you can get a free certification by the Oracle. On a screen, you can see I have opened a website called as a dev gym and this is a Oracle website. Here we have a course called as a databases for developers foundations, a free SQL course. So this course is a free learn SQL in this free 12 part bootcamp. So it has a total 12 parts of a bootcamp. It will help you get started with the Oracle database and SQL. In this course, you will learn a Oracle database and SQL. SQL is nothing but the structured query language. The course is a series of a video to teach you database concepts, interactive SQL tutorials and quizzes to reinforce the ideas. Complete the course to get your free certificate. So once you complete the course, you will get a free certificate. Already 96,000 plus students have joined this course and it has a 4.5 ratings. You need an Oracle account to take a class. So if you want to do a course and get a certificate, you need an Oracle account. If you already have the Oracle account, you can just go ahead and start the course. If you don't, you can just sign up and create a new account for the Oracle. After that, we will check what are the different modules which are available with this. First, we have a tables module. Second, we have a column and data types. And third, we have a data modeling. So whenever we create a database, all the data will be stored in a tables and that table information is given in the first module. So here we will learn how we can create a different tables. Now we are storing the data in a tables in a column format. So whatever columns we have, we need to give a type of data that we are storing in that column. So in a second module, we will be learning what is a columns and data types which are available with the SQL. After that, we have a data modeling deciding where to store what is one of the fundamental decision you make when building a database. So whenever you want to build a database, you need to understand how you want to store the data in your database, whether it is a single table or a multi table. This comes under the data modeling. And after that, we have a quiz. So in this quiz, we will check what are the concepts which are available with the first, second and third modules. And depending on that, we will have a recap of a material. After that, we have a select and where clause and join clause aggregates and group by. So learn how to use a select statement to get your rows from the database. So whenever we are working with database, we have two main concepts. First, we have to read the data from database and we have to store or update the data from the database. So select and where clause comes under reading part. So we can filter the data using a where and we can fetch the data using a select. After that, we have a joins. So this module teaches you about the different types of a SQL join, inner join, left join and right join, outer join, full join and cross join. So join comes when we have to face the data from multiple tables, aggregates and group by. This class covers how you can summarize your data using a aggregate function and group by. After that, we have a quiz on select join and group by. And in that we will have a recap of a material from five to seven module. Then we have a insert and commit learn how to use insert to load the data into database. So this comes under the writing part of a database. Then we have a update and transactions master the basics of changing the values in your tables with the update statement. Whenever we want to update the data in a table, then we can go ahead with this module. And we also have a delete and truncate clause. After that, we will have a quiz. So total, we have a three quiz for three modules each. After that, we have a course review. The class was very user friendly. So this course is a user friendly as per the reviews. So the course review are good. After that, we have a frequently asked question. How much does this cost? Nothing. It is a hundred percent free course. After that, will I get a certificate for completing this course? Yes. If you complete all the exercises, then we will send you a certificate of your achievement. So you need to complete this course to get a certificate. So once you complete the course, you can just go ahead and get your certificate from the Oracle. So this is how you can do a free certification course for SQL, which is provided by the Oracle. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, you can just like the video, share our video and subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification.
If you have any questions, you can just drop them in a comment section. See you in the next video.